Hello, Mr. Like Spring. Um, this is my video for my、uh, midterm assignment,、um, which is just me reading the whole proposal form in a talking,、uh, in a talking,、um, in a talking manner. So、um, I hope that you can enjoy this with me, and、uh, hope you are having a great day, night. Uh, I don't know what time you're gonna watch this video of mine, so please have a great time watching this. First,、um, I would try and、uh, talk about the issues that I'm that I saw from my learning life, school, or society.、Um, from my experience so far as a student and a citizen of my uh, of my uh, country, Vietnam, yeah. I figured that many Vietnamese students, as well as English English learner of all ages,、um, still have to deal with many problems, even though they have been studying this language at least a few years of their life, their lives. Most of the、uh, problems they have to face with is are usually related to their ability of、um, memori- memorizing and.、Um, Understanding the the vocabulary thoroughly and completely.、Um, people nowadays know full well about the importance of English. They just don't really see the beneficial aspect of English in their own life or the career path they choose. For example, I don't think that a construction worker would need to feel the, would feel the need to、uh, learn English. Thoroughly and completely, and perfectly to、uh, benefit for any type of beneficial for their、uh, career path. I don't blame the learner actually. This has been the mindset for years, but I do blame our society for not showing and informing people the importance of a foreign language, as well as not appreciate another language more by raising its importance in the job field and the education system. Um, I come up with this idea from the reality of my university and the students around me. I am blessed with the ability to、uh, memorize pretty well, so my vocabulary was a little bit better to keep up with this level of education. I mean, the university、uh, level. However, I have witnessed witnesses students that dropped out because they didn't prepare for. The stressfulness of English major in university and the、um, and the diversity of English vocabulary, which shocked them terribly and took away their innovation to keep on studying. What is the purpose of this research? You think、um, the purpose of my research is to learn more about the about the issues that students are facing during their English vocabulary learning process. As well as their usual ways of dealing with those issues, and why there are still issues for them if they already、um, have the basic solutions. From then, I can figure out the main problems from the situation and find more ways that students can follow in order to improve their vocabulary learning process.、Mm. My、um, my research questions I have been、uh, coming up lately. I've been coming up with lately is、um, our what are the common difficulties of uh, English um, of EFL students in learning vocabulary? What are the strategies that EFL students usually apply, and are they really helpful? And the la- the last question is: Are there any new strategies found recently? Do they change anything for the students? For each research questions, I do say I do have some purpose for them, purposes for them. <clears throat>、um, the first、uh, research questions, the first research questions, <laughs>、uh, will inform me about some main issues that students usually have to face with during the pro- vocabulary learning process.、Um, the second research question. Will tell me about how students usually deal with these issues, and how helpful they are by percentage. If I, if I can explain,、uh, 
um, if they aren't helpful as much, I can ask them why and I can collect more information data. The last research question is about the students or my own findings about different solutions that are more modern and, and suits the young generation more as well as, again, how helpful they are. Um, my understanding about this topic that I'm recently uh, following is rather vague, but I believe that I can learn more about it as I go. I, would, I wouldn't learn anything about this topic if I don't try it out. Um, after a few weeks of collecting information about my topic, I realized that there have been studies that have been done previously about similar topic as mine, which I will attach them in my assignment, um, my assignments file as well as other other articles. Most of these studies were carried out by much more intelligent people or knowledgeable people, as I said. So I can learn from them a thing or two in those studies. In those studies, most of the participants are ESL students, but sometimes also have teachers. The data was collected by questionnaires, uh, quizzes, or small interviews to evaluate subjects' ability. Um, the findings were the findings were very mainly stated that the problems are the students' different ways of approaching these fields and the teachers lack of, lack of understanding about their students' need. However, these findings rarely show specific solution to these problems, so I must dig deeper. And of course, I do believe that my, my understanding is very vague, so if, I feel, if this research is not as uh, convincing as others, I would have some reason for that. Just because I'm still a student and I'm not knowledgeable enough, I'm very sorry. Mm. The, uh, da the data collection instrument that I use are mostly by uh, a survey or, or an interview because I'm still not sure about doing an interview. If can, I would just do a survey or a little form to fill in because that would be more precisely. I believe so. Um, I shall use Google Form to make a very or pretty a pretty uh, detailed survey and ask my participants to complete it. I would have an additional interview if I chose to do an interview. I would have a, an interview for some participants to have specific details about some of their personal experience. But that was just that is just a theory of mine right now. I don't even sure. Um, my participants are mostly students in English major in Gung Ho University, course 45, uh, yeah, course 45, because they were the reason that um, influenced me to come up with this topic, because I'm a student from that own place. <laughs> um, I select my participants mostly by their major. English major to be exact, because they would have more knowledge about this topic of mine and they would experience um, relatable problems that, as I was stating before. And those were, and, um, and course 45 is required because my research scale, research scale is small. So I can select a variety. So I can't select a variety of participants. Um, it, furthermore, they were they were the reason that I came up with this uh, research as well. So I would like for I would love to have them as my um, perfect participants. So that is the end of my video. So if you have any feedback, if you have any questions. Um, just uh, feel free to contact me or uh, oh I forgot of course you will so um, thank you for for have uh, been listening to what I was saying and for watching me mm, I hope that you have a great work time um, as you might need it 
you may work a lot right now. You may working a lot right now. So um, thank you for your participate. Um, I will see you again in. Uh, I will see you again when we get back to school to study offline. Thanks.